game's going pretty well. But that you guys are the most successful. No question. Saturday, you guys. You know, yeah, I did run it as well. No, I agree. Um, yeah, that's the key for us. You know what it does is it keeps. Uh, you know, it takes a lot of pressure off your quarterback for one. When you can run the ball and effective doing it and uh, commit to doing it, we just got to do a better job of committing to doing it. Uh, Finding more creative ways to run. That's a hard defense to to call runs against because you just don't know when you're going to get drop eight or, or eight people blitzing. So it's kind of a hit or miss. But most of the, this week it's going to be a little bit more standard look and going to be important for us to be able to run the ball. I think it was New Mexico's defense that kind of a little bit. I mean, yeah, that, that's a little bit. Yeah, just you know they were I think they were 13th in the nation in defense last year and really high against the run. Nobody really runs the ball against them because it's just hard to predict what you're going to get. Uh, so you know, obviously we got to do better this week, and I think we will. What does Robbie bring? You know, just uh, a lot. Uh, he's a, you know, he's a really a good blocker at the point of attack. Uh, he's big and strong, you know, and he's uh, he's a great receiver. You know, he's still learning how to how to be a receiver, all the the ins and outs of it. But he's just uh, he's got exceptional hands. He knows how to use his body, and he, he runs extremely well for a guy his size. So I mean, he brings a lot. When it comes to, to bailout or or sort of safety valve stuff, does he help? Oh, yeah, he yeah. Help Willie? dramatically, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, he's a guy that uh, even when he's covered, he's open because he's because he's big, you know. And that's the thing that separates him from everybody else is is when he's when he's covered, he's open. What a, what percentage of plays can this team run maybe with him versus without him? You know what I mean? Well, it's a it's a really honestly, it's a completely different offense yeah. when he's in there. You know, I think uh, you know we just we're a lot more. We can run the ball better because he's such a good blocker, and we can throw the ball better because. Uh, you know, because of some of the matchup problems he creates. So it just gives you a lot more options. How much can you take from a game like uh, BYU's on Saturday with UCLA when things just start going wrong? I mean, how much do you watch of the defense? Well, it's a little bit like it's a little bit like watching you know New Mexico for the for the first two games where you uh, you know you know they're better than they showed uh, just because you know how they play defense, you know their scheme, and you know um, how hard they're going to play. And so it's the same thing with, with you know, UCLA. You know, uh, Dwayne Walker, you know he's a really good football coach. You know they're going to have really good players. And uh, you know they're going to play extremely hard. So, you know, you can take some of it because, uh, you know, because BYU did a good job of scheming them and you can see some things that, uh, that you might try to emulate. But at the same time, you can't sit there and, and say that that was a very fair assessment, you know, on, on, uh, on UCLA's capabilities to play defense. You know, I think you put the... Put the Tennessee game on. I think it gives you a lot better indication of what their defense is really like. How would you hope that the players respond to a game like Mexico State in terms emotionally? In terms of, do they forget it? Do they get angry? You know, I would think. Uh, uh, you know, I would think you get angry early and then you and then you get over it. You know, I think that's what you have to do. Uh, I think it makes you a little bit more determined. You know, and and uh, maybe hungrier. You know. Uh, but that used to be that way anyway. <laughs> you know, I don't think that you should have to have a, a loss like that uh, get you in the right frame of mind. You know, and I think that's the that's the thing, you know, we've got to work on. We've got to be in the right frame of mind every day against every opponent. You know, I think that sometimes, uh, you know, I think the Pac-10 or the Big 12 or the Big 10 or whatever, I think sometimes you get the big head a little bit and think, you know, hey, we're in, the, we're in this league, and those guys wish they were in this league. And I think that uh, the Mountain West pretty much showed everybody last week that uh, it's really not that much difference between the leagues. You know, I think what happens is you play play those teams, and they're maybe a little bit more excited to play you than you are to play them, and all of a sudden uh, you're in trouble. And I think that's what happens a lot of times. Was there a fundamental difference in the way Tennessee attacked UCLA and the way BYU attacked UCLA? Well, two really different uh, offenses. You know, BYU is, is a little bit more like us. Uh, you know, they're a little bit more of a passing team and, and uh, run a lot of our same concepts and schemes and stuff, but but they do a good job running the ball. You know, the thing that BYU does so well is they have a huge offensive line and they're really good up front. And so, you know, they can pass protect and, and they can you know, run the football, you know, with the big running backs. And so, you know, they're really uh, as diverse offense probably as there is in the country. They're very good on offense and present a lot of problems.